This is the site of our original bottling hall from 1889 until 1966. This is also the place where we invented the miniature spirit, the baby power in 1889. Nowadays, it's a vibrant market full of stalls, of cafes, and of some really, really cool bars. So we were in um, Tom's house last night, and uh, we were doing a little bit of filming with one of the, the, the owners. My God, this guy is so totally into powers. Like, he's just uh, fascinated by the history, fascinated by the spirit, fascinated by uh, the story. Is it because he's right on the doorstep of John's Lane, more or less? It was definitely that they were so close to the distillery, but it was also more so that it was, for them, it was kind of underground. It was a little bit different. They didn't see it everywhere. Hey, Nash. How are you? Not too bad. Have you met Dennis before? No, nice to meet you, Dennis. I'm Natalia. How are you? Nice to see you, Nat. How's it going? Dennis is actually descended from the Paris family. Oh, really? This stuff. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. And Dennis's uncle, was the boss at the bottom of the plant here. So, here? Yeah, literally here. Here and, and everything behind. We're underneath the original Powers bottling facility in Georgia Street Arcade in Dublin. It's from here, from 1889 until 1966, that Powers was matured, bottled and sent all over the world. Powers was one of the first whiskey companies in Ireland to bottle their own whiskey. While our whiskey was being bottled upstairs, the whiskey was in barrels resting down here. This black stuff on the ceiling is distillery mould. It can only be found in breweries and distilleries around the world or where alcohol is produced. And even after more than 20 years, it's still here. Most Dubliners don't know this, but they've been parking their cars in our old maturation warehouse for more than 20 years in Drury Street car park. It's, it's really interesting, you know, the guys here, when we told them a story about how the, the baby power was invented on this site, they kind of wanted to reinvent the baby power. So their signature cocktail here now is called the Powers Up, which is Powers whiskey from the baby power, and they make up a kind of an old-fashioned style cocktail. But it's really cool that they were... So they always use a baby power. Always, flower. You always, always get a baby power. Wow. It, it actually became uh, like a, the term for a miniature alcohol. I remember working in a bar and um, there was this old lady used to come in and she'd have her lunch and just before she'd leave she'd ask for a baby power of gin. No way. Baby power How of gin. How good is that? Is that you know? <laughs> the branding worked? It's the first time I've seen a drink being served with the baby's power. With a baby powers. Which is, which is special. It would have been very traditional. Originally powers would have been sold by the cask yeah. and they would have bought casks of powers and they would have, you know, served it from the cask, right? But they, they were called Powers White Label. If you wanted Powers Gold Label, but they didn't have full-size bottles. They had the baby powers, and they had them on hooks behind the counter. And originally, the baby powers came with a cork in it. So they'd take the little corkscrew and put it into it, hanging on a hook. So when the guys came to uh, order their Powers Gold Label, they literally grabbed it on the hook and pulled it out so the cork popped, and they could serve their uh, baby power. I think we should have a toast. Can I grab this one? To the new Dublin. New Dublin. New Dublin. New Dublin.